www.88beats.com Beats, Beats. Graphics. Graphics Studio Design We do it all, baby What's going on, everybody? Hey, uh, I'm going to do a tutorial today on sampling in FL Studio Now, this was a request from about uh, I'd say about 15 or 20 of you or so have actually hit me up about the same topic so I figured all right, I'll just might as well just take some time and do a quick video on this. Um, now, some things I like to point out: I don't sample a lot of beats. Now, I do sample sometimes, so it depends on usually what I'm working on as an as an artist. Now, the reason why I don't sample a lot is because clearing samples is very very hard to do. It takes a lot of time. Sometimes it requires a lot of money. Most of the time, you can clear a sample for what you're using it for. Uh, sometimes you can clear it for nothing, really, man. I mean, some people are pretty lenient on their stuff, but. This, this sample in particular is the same sample. Now, I, I don't know what sample it is exactly. Um, I know that it is, I think it's the same sample, I want to say 50 Cent in the game used on a track years ago. Now the sample is, all right guys, Sorry about that. I had to get the I had to get my shit situated over here. Okay, the sample that I used for this particular track is called Rubber Band. I'm gonna play it for y'all real quick. So that'll give you guys an idea of what sample I'm using. Um, now my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna. This video is gonna be chopped up a little bit. So what I do first when I when I get going on samples. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Edison. Now in FL Studio, here I am. I already got this project going. FL Studio, you're gonna go up here. There's an Edison player, the little scissor thing. Open that up. Load your sample into here. And then what I did now is I just dragged the entire track up into my up into my um, into the playlist which is this thing right here I have, I have two monitors so in case you guys are watching on there you know what I'm doing um, so here's here's a sample I got So now what I pretty much do is I, I lay this out on here and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to find where I want to cut. Now this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial. See how there, I, I noticed there's a gap right in the beginning. I want to get rid of that. I'm going to just use a slice tool, get rid of that. Another very important part is set your tempo. Find the BPMs in here. Now what you could do is right click on the tempo up here, go ahead and hit tap, and then simply tap your mouse, just like that, like you're tapping your mouse to the tempo as the song's playing. Uh, most of you, I'm gonna assume, already know how to find a tempo in a track. It's all just by ear and lining it up, seeing if it goes right together. Now, I already got this tempo set, which is a 98 BPMs. I'm gonna play this back and I'm gonna find the intro right away it caught my attention and it's not the same part of the sample that was used by the 50 cent in the game's track. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use a different part of it. And I just wanna loop that part really. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of this the rest of this, kinda put it down there and mute it. Now I got the main the main uh, track right here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to click it and I'm just going to keep cloning it. I kind of screwed everything up, but... Why it's pasting is so weird, but it is. So, 
that was pretty easy. I mean, I'm using the sample as as uh, in the tutorial because it's a really easy sample. It's, it's kind of newer. It's got a, you know, it's got a good BPM to it, so it's easy to show y'all how I do this. So now I'm structuring right here. I'm structuring the intro and the verse. Now I'm gonna do the intro at four bars, and I'm just gonna go straight into the first verse. I'm gonna do 16 on that. Now this is already set up up here, like you guys can see. I'm gonna redo it for you down here so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I got the intro, let's say we did four bars. Let's actually take the intro to, I think I did the intro more than four. I did it all the way, you know, I don't know how long I did it. Yeah, just about, I did four bars, and then I put in a little drum roll. Okay, so four bar intro, whatever. So, there's the intro. Pretty basic stuff, right? Um, now, there's 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 tons of ways you guys can sample. Now, say say if I am using a keyboard and I want to link the tracks to keyboard, that'll be a separate tutorial. This is kind of like the easy way. You find one part of the of the track, you slice it, you lay it out, and you lay drums over that with the same tempo. You kind of you know fix mis mixing a little bit so that you only hear the instruments. You put your drums on it. Pretty basic stuff. I mean, that's really Fruity Loops for you in a nutshell with sampling is editor, you use the Edison editor, drag it down, slice it, chop it up. Um, now what I did do, now I'm just going to erase this, and I'm going to go up here now that y'all got the idea of what I'm doing. I got this laid out. Now at this part, there was a certain sample, I'm going to play this for you. There was a certain part of the sample where you can hear that the lady in the background singing something, and I wanted to use that as the break as the breakdown part, the transition from the verse to the chorus and vice versa. And then right there, that, that little snare drop you heard, that was in the sample. I'm going to take some drums and I'm going to redo that. Probably put some toms in there as well. So when that drops down, now it's going to go into the chorus. Now we got the hook samples different. See, so once once you guys get the once you guys get this, the foundation laid out, what I always do with my samples, I lay out the foundation. I do the intro, verse, chorus, and then from there, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna duplicate the first verse to the next one. So, all you want to do is get the intro. If you want to put an intro, do the intro, the, the verse, and a chorus, and you're pretty much done. Now you got to move on to the drums. So the drum section is very very easy. I listen to the sample and I hear the, the I hear where the snares are kicking in. It's a four four measure. I get all that stuff situated and then what I do is very simple stuff like sampled beats I don't do a lot of them because it's hard for me to dumb it down that much and and make something so simple I'm very technical I like to play keys I like to lay my own drums and you know so this is perfect for everybody that's been asking me Fruity Loops this little um, your little pattern sequencer right here it's gonna be your best friend with samples because you're gonna play it perfectly on time very easy so what I did is I got my kick drums from uh, let's see something's muted here get rid of this shit so shout out to Superstar O Beats it's my boy right there um, he's the one that hooks he I get all my I get all my like when I want to get some fat kicks I want to get some nice snares dude I hit up Superstar O He's got some of the dopest, dopest drums. And they're high quality too, so he takes a lot of time and into his craft and I appreciate that, so um, always always down to support him. So I'm gonna play y'all a loop of my of my drums. Yeah, yeah, there's some reverb. I put some reverb on the 
I think I put it some on the snares, of course. Here's a little reverb right there. Snare two, just a stereo enhancer, kind of widened out that snare. Uh, kick drums, everybody wants to know what I do with my kick drums. Compression. I compress them, boost them, and then I layer them. So there's one, two, three, I got three different kicks. So we'll do like, I got deep kick right here, solid kick. Uh, yeah, I know I got another one somewhere. There it is. And that one's from Vibe, old school kick. Pretty much, man, my kicks, usually I do EQ them. But the thing is I layer them and I adjust the volumes on different ones and I pan them out. Some of them I even add a reverb on the kick. So that's important, especially with sampled tracks. Kind of gives it that old school feel. Um, reverbs, very popular back in the 90s, 80s, so on. So let's go back up to the, the open up the playlist thing. Now, I, I since I'm using the drum sequencer over here, I'm layering everything down here. Now again, this is for people that know how to use Fruity Loops. All my, all my tutorials, I usually just expect y'all to know a little bit basics about uh, FL Studio. Sorry y'all, the video cut out. Like I'm telling you, my camera's dying, so this is, it's got a little bit of battery left in it. So, intro, intro drums. Let's talk about these intro drums. All I did, very simple. Got a different kick. Hear that? I put a pretty, pretty noticeable amount of reverb. Took all the EQ from, from above I think it's 500 hertz. I just took it down. So I'll show I'll show y'all what I did exactly with that. Where's that? So pretty much, oh, it's not on here. I did it. I did it beforehand. What you do is you just take this down like that, bend it down, and you'll see you'll see the sweet spot on my EQ right here. It's it's hitting right here. And on top of that, you put some reverb on the kick drum, and then you got that that very low end sound you got. So I did that just for the intro and for the chorus because they had that certain effect. Okay, now the next part I'm gonna talk to y'all about is the fill. Now what I did with my drum fills. You know, here, I took that one too, the EQing on that. I took out the highs, man. I, I cut the highs pretty good because I wanted to sit more of a thick mix. So, now this, this fill, I just came up with this on my own. What I use the plugin is actually a contact plugin. Um, I'm probably going to freeze my computer up. I got so much shit running on this right now. Here it is. So, I got contact. Now this is the Studio Drummer. So I got Studio Drummer right here and it's got different fills you can go into and check out the fill variations. I ended up picking one I didn't really like so that I just went ahead and and kind of edited it a little bit to, the, to my liking to fit the sample. Now I listened to the sample and I heard how the drum, the, the snare rolls were to go in from transitions. And I took the snare rolls but then I added, like I said, toms. What did I add? Hi-hat. Kick. Added a tom, a kick, a hi hat. So I added everything in there to make a complete drum fill. So that's what you guys hear in the breakdown part. So that's pretty much that's pretty much my sampling in a nutshell. Now, for you guys that watched it, you guys are probably wondering, like, you want more, if you guys want more, I don't know, in detailed and structured sampling. I mean, I guess I can do one, but I don't I don't really do that. This is how my samples kind of go. If I if I hear a sample that kind of fits the mood of something I'm working on or someone in particular wanted something like this, then what I do is I find the sample and I just keep it simple, man. I find the sample that the person wants or that I want, and I just take it and I lay my own drums on it. It's kind of like remixing an old an oldies record. You just want to have the new revamp sounds and everything like that and make it your own into your own structure with it. So that's a simple way you can sample. It's all about finding the sample. Now, everybody asks so many questions on sampling, man. It's really just in the sample. If you if you find a bad sample and 
it's garbage, yeah, whatever. I mean, people like Kanye West, he finds gold in, in some of the worst records ever. He'll find a gold 10 second, not even that, like three second clip of a sample. He'll change the tempo, correct the pitch, or whatever, man. And the guy's a genius with it. So, I mean, it's about getting creative. If you guys have any other questions about, about how I sampled this, or want to know anything more, or if I get enough requests on doing another more in-depth sampling tutorial, then maybe I'll do one. But at the time being, this is this is as much as I got to show y'all for now. So definitely let me know what you guys think. Questions, comments, they're always welcome. Um, you all know that follow me. I'm pretty quick to respond to people. You guys hit me up. You know, we get things going back and forth on YouTube. I appreciate you guys' support, checking everything out. Uh, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a link to this. I don't know when. I'll probably finish this up, put out a link on SoundCloud so you guys can actually listen to it and whatnot. And so you guys can go from there, man.